Hey, Blue Table fans! Oh, do I have a treat for you. This is a Tau Manta for Games Workshop's Warhammer 40K game. And let me tell you a little bit about the story. Uh, by the way, uh, this is for sale. And just check the title for a price and the liner notes for additional details. Uh, so we received a Manta, and, but it had two of the same wing. And this is that Manta. Otherwise, it was complete. And so what's happened is we took the, the le had two left wings, we took it and we bent it into shape. So as you can see, uh, to the untrained eye, you really can't tell the difference. Uh, obviously it's been primed, it's been oversprayed red, uh, but it certainly, it certainly could take another layer in my opinion. Uh, let me tell you a little bit more about it. Uh, first off, it doesn't come with any of the like tanks or battle suits or stuff that it normally has. Uh, secondly, something that's really good, these are plastic kit turrets on here. And that is good because the ones that it normally comes with, the resin ones, they tend to be very brittle. Okay, uh, let's move on. This thing opens right here. And that's the, uh, the launch bay, or the, where the fire warriors sit. We'll see those momentarily. This thing opens in the back. And uh, then the cockpit opens. This is where the uh, pilots sit. And uh, so there's that. And uh, what else here? Oh, here's all the extra pieces. Now, if you want, it's already pegged to go on these uh, stands here. So it has, it has a pretty nominal footprint uh, if you want to do it that way. This is a t because it's so large, this is almost three feet wingtip to wingtip. It's one of the largest models known to man. And... Um, so uh, that's just a little shot of the underside there. So you can know what it is you're getting. Uh, here's the fire warriors. And here's the old burst cannons. You won't need those. Here's uh, pilots for it. As well as the uh, throne and the fabled space pope. There. Uh, you have the um, veins that go on the back. I do believe these go right there and there and there and there. Uh, here's the Fire Warrior rack guns, and quite frankly, I don't know what these little consoles are for, uh, but it looks like there's 18 of them. So, uh, that little, nice little decorative base is on here. Got some Fire Warriors taking positions, some ruins, a little, um, you know, uh, outpost type thing. I don't know what. Anyway, uh, that's it. It's a really exceptional model. Uh, this thing, it, the, the cost, check the liner notes for shipping notes, uh, because this, this thing is really heavy. I don't know how heavy it is, maybe 30 pounds. I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just eyeballing it. It's really heavy, I will only ship it inside the US. We would prefer a local pickup. So let me know if you're interested in this. And even if you're not, uh, well, it was, uh, Hopefully an interesting ride to take a look at such a rare and amazing model. And if nobody picks it up, I will probably put it into the studio towel and do some fun uh, scenarios with it.